stability test of power transformer in this video we will discuss about mainly 50 mb 132 by 33 kb yn d1 vector group power transformer now why the stability test is done after all the test the stability test of the power transformer is done in order to mainly check the differential stability in the differential delay that is the id that is differential current must be zero for all the phases also the all the current for rf relay backup over current for hv and lv winding ct hv wti and lv wti ct secondary are measured it is the test after that charging clearance are given the single line diagram for 50 MB 132 by 33 kb power transformer has been shown in this figure here in the right side uh, of the figure there exists 132 kb main bus and transfer bus in the left side there exists 33 kb main bus and 33 kb transfer bus 89a 89a and 89t are the main bus side line side and transfer bus side isolator respectively for both 132 kb main bus and 132 kb in 33 kb sides for hv side ct ratio is 300 by 1 and lv side ct ratio is 1000 by 1 since ct uh, full load current for hv is almost 219 ampere and for lv is approximately 875 ampere ct ratio for neutral ct is 300 by 1 now for arrangement of uh, stability test has been shown in this diagram in this diagram three phase 440 volt supply is given by means of mcb before the 33 kb circuit breaker here line isolator has been cl closed and for hb side the line isolator all the isolator remain open and discharge rod three number of discharge rod are taken after the ct and sorted together now circuit breaker will be closed to check all the current in the secondary circuit now what should we uh, observe for stability test since hb side ct has three number core core one is taken for metering purpose check all the emitter current in the panel side and core 2 is taken for differential delay and core 3 for backup over current check all the current in the differential delay and backup over current similarly uh, lv side ct measurement are taken in the uh, ammeter and um, backup over current and differential delay now um, since percentage impedance of the transformer is 12.5 percent therefore supply current in the LV side 33 kV side will be IL equal to supply voltage by root 3 divided by, by Z actual in the 33 kV side here Z actual we know that kV square by MBA into percentage impedance here for Z actual in 33 kV side comes to 33 square by 50 into 0.125 will comes to 2.7225 ohm therefore the supply current will be in the LV side comes to 93.31 ampere. The supply cable for stability is to uh, so that it will it can cater 93.31 ampere and also MCB ca ca capacity should be such that it can cater the load of 93.31 ampere. Current in the 132 kb side that is IH comes to 23.33 ampere at nominal tap that is at tap number 9b now measure the secondary current in lv and hv side now il secondary uh, comes to 93.31 by 1000 since the ct ratio in the lv side ct is 1000 by 1 that will comes to 93.31 milliampere and i is uh, secondary comes to 23.33 by 300 since 300 by 1 is the ct ratio for hb side ct ratio that will comes to 0 0.0778 ampere or 77 milliampere now for differential delay check id and i bias 
is same as per calculation follows i1 per unit is equal to i h secondary by hb secondary current on full load now hb secondary current on full load comes to 0.729 ampere and that will gives the i1 per unit equal to 0.0778 by 0.729 equal to 0.1067 per unit similarly for i2 per unit comes to il secondary by lv secondary current on full load lv secondary current on full load equal to 0.8748 that is full load current is 874.8 ampere and ct ratio is 1000 by 1 that comes to 0.8748 therefore i2 power unit equal to 0 0.09331 and by 0.8748 comes to 0 0.1067 it can be seen that both the i1 and i2 is same therefore i y is equal to i1 plus i2 by 2 comes to 0 0.0533 per unit and id equal to i1 minus i2 comes to i0 but in practically i difference will come to 0 0.001 0 0.002 per unit and i bias will differ slightly we have to observe the ID current and I bias current for all the phases and after that we will measure the all the current ammeter current in HV, LV side, HV and LV over current relay current BCT that is pushing CT secondary current for REF relay and winding CT secondary current for HV and LV for REF relay check whether BCT that is Bushing CT current secondary is IBCT secondary comes to 23.33 by 300 that is 77 milliampere. Also check NCT secondary current equal to zero. Check HBWTI and LBWTI CT secondary current. Current ratio for HBWTI is 243 by 1.8 ampere. Then secondary currents comes to one. 73 milliampere similarly for lbwti current ratio is 875 by 1.8 ampere therefore secondary current comes to 192 milliampere instead of giving supply in the lv side supply also can be given in the hv side but in this case as the z actuals comes to 43.56 ohm the supply current in the hv side will be 5.83 ampere and LV side it will comes to 23.32 ampere here the secondary current for HV and LV will be lower therefore it is recommended to for stability test always supply is given for LV side so that the current should be more for um, current for measuring the current more accurately in the secondary side